Hi, I'm Mitch Gallagher. Welcome to Sweetwater's Guitars and Gear. This time out, the latest version of AMP software from Positive Grid. Let's get started. Today we're checking out BIOS AMP 2, the latest version of BIOS AMP, a standalone app or plug-in that runs on Mac and Windows. BIOS AMP 2 was introduced by Positive Grid at Winter NAMM 2018 in Anaheim, California, and it's software that allows you to go in and create an amp from scratch. You can go in and choose exactly the tubes that you want, the tone stack type that you want, you can even get in and tweak the transformer. But beyond that, you can use BIOS AMP to actually match the sound of an existing amplifier that you mic up or another processor that you might want to capture into the software and recreate its tone exactly. BIOS AMP 2 is a major upgrade that brings a lot of new features to BIOS AMP. We've got new preamp and power amp tubes. We've got a new transformer feature that allows us to tweak the touch responsiveness of the transformer. It's really an amazing effect. We've also got new amp types. There's blues amp category now as well as bass amps. And we've got the ability to match our amplifier to any audio file you want to import, so this gives you a wide range of sounds that you can work from. In addition to that, the equalizer now has a real-time analyzer that allows you to see exactly what's happening with your frequency response when you're tweaking the tones. Let's check out some of the new features. First of all, we have a new amp category, Blues. Under this, we have American Bassman, we have Tweed Lux, Mini Duo Reverb, and 63 British J45. The American Bass sounds like this. Our Tweed Lux, Mini Duo Reverb, and J45. Now we can go in and tweak any of the parameters. There's so much capability for tweaking the detail of any amplifier in BIOS Amp 2. So we start with the custom panel, which gives us our overall controls, as you'd expect on the front panel of the amp. In the preamp section, we have new tube types. So normally we'd have a 12AX7 here on our input stage. We can change that to one of the new tube types, say 12AY7 or 12BH7. Now you can hear that makes a difference in our tone, but it also changes the headroom. The 12AY7 and 12BH7 are higher headroom tubes. We can also change the cathode follower tube. Again, we have a choice of 12AY7 here, 12AU7, 12BH7, 12AT7. So you can mix and match tubes as you like. And then we have a lot of control over the gain of those tubes. We have bright controls. We can go back here to our input stage, turn our gain down there a bit. We have EQ leading into the preamp tubes. We have EQ leading out of the preamp tubes. And then we have our tone stack. And we can choose the type of tone stack we want. We're on a tweed uh, basement here, but we could also go to, say, a British Crunch amp. It's going to give us a little different tone. Back to our basement. In our power amp, we can choose different types of power tubes, and again, we have new options here. 6550s, which are much higher tubes with more headroom. And we also have KT88s, which again are higher headroom, higher output tubes. We can set the bias on those tubes. We have all kinds of controls for tweaking the response of those tubes. Next up, we have the transformer, and here's where we have that new dynamic touch control. And this allows us to tweak the response of the transformer. You really feel the difference more than you hear it in this case. It has a certain kind of a sag to it, a certain kind of a, almost a smoothness to it as you turn that control up. Under cabinets, we have new features as well. Of course, we have single speaker cabinets, double speaker cabinets, and four speaker cabinets, so 410s, 412s, and so on. We can now choose to have open back or closed back versions of those cabinets. We also have Celestian impulse responses that we can load in. So we can look at the classic G1265 and load that in our speaker, for example. We can move our microphones around, place it anywhere we like on the cone, pull it back away from the speaker cabinet. We can choose the microphone type that we like. 
And another new feature is we have now a second microphone. So we could put a 421 here, and put it on the edge of the cone, put it in nice and close, and then we can mix those two together to create the blend that we want. The equalizer now has a real-time analyzer built in. So we can see exactly what's happening with our signal. This makes it very easy to dial in the EQ exactly where you want it. We actually have two equalizer stages, one after the preamp and one post the cabinet. So you can do sound shaping inside the preamp itself with the tone stack of the amplifier or with these external parametric or graphic EQs at different places in the signal path. And as I mentioned, with Amp Match, that's been upgraded so that now we can capture audio from any audio file that you load in to buy us Amp. And of course, we can arrange the signal path in different ways if we want to customize further. So we could take the EQ, for example, and put it before the cabinet. Or we could run it here after the tone stack, but before the power amp. One of the great features of Bias Amp that's still in Bias Amp 2 is that we have a huge community of users who upload sounds to the Tone Cloud. You can access the Tone Cloud here, download sounds, you can preview them, so we can listen to what these sound like. Go back to our featured sounds, load up different presets. Again, we can preview that. If we like it, we can download it into our software and have it available at any time. We'll put that in the metal category. Once it's downloaded, we simply go back. It's now available under our metal. So it's a great way to try out a ton of different sounds, find exactly what you like, and then of course you can go in and tweak those however you like to match them exactly to your guitars and to your application. I hope you've enjoyed this quick preview of Biosamp 2 from Positive Grid. It's amazing software. The detail that they've given you to be able to go in and tweak the amplifier exactly the way you want, the ability to match existing amps, you can definitely create exactly the sounds that you want and either run this standalone as your amplifier on stage or when you're practicing, or have it as a plug-in inside your DAW or in your recording in your studio. Thanks for joining me for Sweetwater's Guitars and Gear. Be sure to tune in next time. I'll have more guitars, more amps, more effects, and we'll be making lots of music. I'm Mitch Gallagher.